Hello friends! And today I want to show you how to add a thicker outline to your characters to give them the look of a Cartoon Network cartoon, as I've done just here. And I did this using just the effects in OpenTunes, as I did for my last 11 Second Club entry that you can see up here. And because it's added as an effect after you've drawn the animation, it'll be applied for all of the frames of your animation, so you only need to set it up once. So let's take a look and see how to do it. So here in OpenTunes, I've got the drawing I just showed you with each character in their own column. There's Billy, Mandy, and Grim is split into two columns, one for the main Grim character and the other one for his cloak, because I only want to do the outline on the outside of Grim, not on the outside of the cloak. And notice that the drawings are all in Toon's raster levels, and you can also use this effect in vector levels, but not in standard raster levels, because the effect relies on having indexed colours, and a raster level doesn't have those. So, if I turn on the preview here, you'll see there's now this extra outline around the outside of each character. And again, don't forget this effect is applied to the whole column, so any drawings in this column will have the effect applied to it. So if you keep your character drawings in the same column throughout the animation, they'll all have this same effect. Okay, so if I go to the animation room, and you'll see the effect schematic window just above me here. And so it's the effect schematic, because at the top here of the window, it says FX schematic. But this is a dual purpose window, which means it can also show the stage schematic. And you can flip between the two by clicking the button at the bottom right here. So click that until you see FX schematic at the top of that window. So in the FX schematic, you can see each column here on the left hand side. And you notice the background and Grimm's cloak columns are connected directly to the X sheet node. So they'll be shown exactly as they are without any effects added. And the character columns all have one effects node between them and the X sheet node. And that's the outline effects node that creates this effect. And it's such an easy thing to set up. So let me delete the node from Billy and then I'll re-add it so you can see exactly how I added it in the first place. So to delete it, click and drag until you highlight that node, then just tap the delete key. And now when we preview, you can see that Billy doesn't have that extra outline around the outside of him. So then to add this effect, just right click on the column you want outlining. And from the insert effects menu here, just go to the tunes level section. And this section contains effects that you can only use on tunes raster and tunes vector levels, not on the standard raster levels. So from this section, choose outline. And straight away, with the preview button selected, you can see Billy gets an outline around the outside of him. But to change the thickness, just double click on this node and you get a settings dialog with a lot of settings that you can change in here. And the main one that you'll change is the thickness slider. So just click and drag that to make the line either much thicker or a lot thinner. And the other outlines were around seven. So I can click and drag the slider here to get roughly the right number, or you can type in an actual figure in the text box and press tab or enter, and it'll be applied to that column. And with that previewed, you get to see the thickness of the line. And that's about all there is to it, really. It's a really easy way to add an outline to your characters. So before I tell you about my next video, I just want to thank all my amazing supporters over on Patreon with special thanks to Maria and to Robert. Your support really does help everything I do on the channel. And don't forget, all my tea mug and teapot supporters can download this project now from Patreon. So I hope that was useful for you. And if so, please do subscribe to not miss the next video, which will be a selection of effects tips that I know you will find useful, including how to use an effect with multiple columns and many, many more. So when that's published, you'll see that just up here. So do take a look at that. But in the meantime, I'll share another useful video that I know will help you with the effects. And I'll see you next time with more OpenTunes effects tips. And that's a guarantee.